Hi everyone, Marianne here, Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. Thanks for joining me. I will be doing water signs for September today. I will be doing Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. There will be timestamps time stamps below this uh, video, so you can click on your timestamp to get to your reading. These readings are for your sun sign, your rising or your moon sign. It's to get a good balanced view, if you know your natal chart, have a look at uh, all three, if you can. Sun sign is who you are, the essence of who you are, who you were born as, the essence of you. Rising sign is how you express yourself in uh, this world. The moon, uh, your moon sign will be how you feel. Uh, okay, so uh, general readings, um, if they resonate, uh, claim them. If not, move on. Uh, also, I don't do personal readings at this time. Um, and uh, if you do get approached for a personal reading, it is a scam, so block and report. I'll be using the Kabbalistic Tarot by Eugene Vanitsky here. You can Google that, the Kabbalistic Tarot and uh, find out where to, to buy it. Um, I'll also be using Cairo Marchetti's Kipper deck here and um, my own Revealing Light Oracle, details of which are on my website. So there's very much a spiritual deck uh, that I think I published, gosh, probably 2019 now, uh, and I think I'm on to my fourth print run. So it, it's uh, it's a good handy oracle to have. All right, we're going to um, start with Scorpio today. Uh, and as I said, I'll be doing timestamps. So Scorpio at two, two minutes in. Um, and let's see, let's see what we can pick up. I think I'll start with the tarot, uh, the Kabbalistic tarot. I usually try and do some clairvoyance as well to see if we can tune right into Scorpio's energy. Uh, and many, many Scorpios are actually, you know, can do what I'm doing right now. They're extremely intuitive. They're sort of, um, I won't say they're the sage uh, because that's generally associated with Sagittarius, but they, uh, Scorpio is associated with the occult. And so your intuition is extremely deep. Uh, Scorpio rules the eighth house of death and rebirth, transformation. So uh, something around using your intuition um, here. I feel like for some Scorpios, you might be just holding it together, um, unfortunately. Um, it's like, uh, you know, if you've been going through a tough time, you've kind of been pushing on with positivity. It's like, um, okay, if I smell the roses, if I just stop and smell the roses, this will be okay. It's like, it's part, I want to say this is all part of your growth and evolution. Uh, I, the image that I'm getting is a garland of flowers around extremely tall, 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 tall tree in the forest. And it's like, um, you know, you're in the forest uh, and you're just focused. This tree is your anchor. This garland is around the tree. Is, is as I said, holding it all together with this, uh, I guess, hope, uh, hope that things will be okay. But the garland is, is, it's kind of on the lower part of the tree. And I'm reminded of the growth rings of a, of a tree. And it's like what you're experiencing is growth and evolution and sometimes that's not always that's not always easy and you as a Scorpio will know that I'm sorry about the chainsaw in the back uh, ground let's hope it's not going to come forward too much into this reading let's uh let's draw some tarot for Scorpio um let's see what else I can pick up about maybe the future I don't know why I'm seeing an aircraft carrier, but I am. That might be symbolic to somebody. Aeroplane, an aircraft carrier. Some of you could feel like you're literally literally at war all the time. 
uh, and you long for that garden or garland of peace well, you know where life is as simple as a as sitting um, sitting and spelt smelling the roses um, so a little bit of turmoil but because I, I keep seeing this garland around this tree uh, and light shining on the tree in the middle of a dark forest, I know that you're going to be okay. So if any are struggling, please reach out for help. Um, it takes a community. Uh, sometimes when we're going through difficulties, not all. this won't resonate with all Scorpios, but I'm just saying reach out uh, if you are indeed um, struggling. All right, what else is going on with Scorpio? Okay, I'm seeing an elderly woman with a... Okay, so somebody's coming forward literally through the veil um, and they have this kind of old-fashioned, kind of like 20s or 30s, 40s era woman's hat on or bonnet dressed in purple. And they may have... It, may, it might well be someone's grandmother with a... You know, the, instead of a door, they had the glass beads um, to separate, you know, kitchens from living rooms. It's that kind of thing. And uh, purple is all about uh, using your intuition, using your third eye. And so that's very much a message here. Because it will give you the clarity that you need when you use your intuition. Okay, Scorpio, quite a deep message for some Scorpios. All right. Let's have a look. Scorpio, what's happening for Scorpio? Please show me clearly. Strengths, issues, weaknesses, challenges. Show me what's going on for Scorpio in September 2023. Okay, straight away we have the devil. Mm. Uh, this is toxicity and attachment. Um, it's, you know, again, part of, of the growth. You need to come back into moderation. This is Capricorn energy. Um uh you need to come back to the middle middle path um and again as i said this is part of your growth and uh evolution the seven of wands mars in um in leo feeling like you've always got to defend yourself um feeling like you're under attack for example so in a way i want to say this is what's causing this imbalance um it's like you're on the attack all the time. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. You can bring forward another energy. Um, and because it's with the devil, it could be a habit you've formed um, that feeling like you need to defend yourself, stand your ground all the time. And that isn't uh, may not essentially be who you are. Now we have the Ace of Coins here. Uh, and I want to say that some Scorpios are either doing quite well or they will. It's at the foundation of the reading. So there could be something new on offer for you, uh, a new job, a new income stream, a new, um, I guess, new resources coming uh, coming uh, down uh, the pike for you. Something perhaps that you didn't uh, expect because your head's been in this kind of toxic situation for some that you might have been involved in the ace of swords is in the past suggesting again that the optimism uh the optimism because there's clarity there's real clarity when the ace of swords comes comes through you also may have had some sort of communication um from somebody or something that is that has given you this clarity so now i've got two aces i do feel you're going to push through whatever this situation is because in the sky you've got the magician and that's manifesting a new future whatever's next for you scorpio scorpio and it could even be something in this is mercury energy could even be something in communications um where you're doing a lot of speaking Uh, it's going to bring in, um, it's going to be a new start for you. Now we've got the two of wands, Mars in Aries, um, something coming to fruition in time. I don't think that this newness will be here in September, but I think it's coming forward to you. 
it's like what you're going through now is like the end of an old cycle and then you've got this beginning of the new now in the here and now we have the princess of coins and this is very much as i said foundational earth energy and foundational um foundational uh growth and evolution what you're going through now just strengthens if you think of yourself as that forest or as that tree strengthens the roots uh, of or grounds you and strengthens the roots of who you are the princess of coins but here we here we have the origin of the devil and the the devil and uh and the um seven of wands this is a situation you're currently in. It is a foundational situation, strengthening your own foundations. We have the Five of Swords. Um, some could uh, be sabotaging themselves. And again, it's always designed so, so it's to bring forward change and renewal, I want to say, and a new foundation. Something could be about to end for some Venus in Aquarius energy. You could feel somebody else could be sabotaging you because this is an abuse of power by somebody, a sabotage or an abuse of power. But this is feeding into that change, that good change that is needed. The Empress card, Venus mother, energy abundance a season of time i do feel that some of you are going to be working in like in for like in a group in communications some of you could be taking a new job where you're communicating with a community of people a network of people But this is also around love as well. It's it's almost like you've kind of turned away from that in a way. You lost faith in it, lost trust in it for some. And then we have the Queen of Cups here as the outcome. You could be suppressing not speaking, uh, not talking about how you feel. This could also be something being revealed of an emotional nature to you. Let's see what's clarifying that. Two queens, wow, stability, earth energy. So now you've got water and earth energy. The queen of coins, stability. If you feel like you haven't stability right now, six of cups, the past. Here we have your energy, sun in Scorpio, the past. But it's also your higher self as well. You, you, it's, it's about moderation. It's about moderation and healing and moving toward the center rather than extremes. It shows me that's the pathway for stability for you the base of the pack we've got venus uh, in virgo uh, the nine of coins having what you need and we have uh, chokma jupiter in capricorn the two of coins you could be overworked and <laughs> juggling a lot uh, but we have the sun card here happiness Happiness is really uh, the ascension that matters. I want to say what's your health, the Four of Swords. This is Jupiter in Libra energy. You need to look after yourself. So is that Queen of Cups in order to get stability. You have to come back from the extreme. Um, okay, now this reading was, yeah, pretty heavy. So it may not be for everybody or there may be glimpses of it. Um, for some Scorpios let's take a look at the Kippah and see what we can see please for Scorpio past present and future show me the past the present and the future past present and future 
for Scorpio to clarify this reading for September 2023. So I think some of you have in the past have, re have really achieved uh, quite a high level, uh, high functioning, high level, whether that's in the career, whether that's uh, in love, uh, whether that's in your family, whether that's relationships with others. And it's like, you know, you've always been, you've had this luck. You've had this luck in the past and that has helped you to achieve. Uh, in the present, some of you could be thinking about moving overseas, traveling, distant horizons, and we get community in the present. So this is that 11th house energy that kept coming up for you, working it for or within a community where your communication goes out to many. This can be in a volunteer uh, role, for example. Now we have the coffin card uh, in the future. Something has to end or something is coming to an end. Uh, we get toil and labour. I just feel some of you with that two of pentacles that came up. Overworking, trying to juggle too much. And then we get expectation. Um, you have an expectation of uh, something. Waiting, waiting for something to come through. So many of you are seeking to change this situation that really is not good for you. Um Let's see what comes next. Pathway. And that's it. That's the image I had. I'm so glad I used the kipper. I don't usually do that. But there's the forest. There's a pathway for you to follow. There's the light. There's the tree. There's the garland of flowers. There's the butterflies. This is very much a message. A message from spirit for you. There is a new pathway opening up for you, Scorpio. Phew. Whew. What a reading. Because I feel that, yeah, there's there are some health concerns here uh, and really feeling like, you know, your innocence is gone. But that's only a mindset. That's only a mindset. You are going to get a change coming through. We'll bring with, with it um, new, I want to say new, new stream of income. All right, so thank goodness you see that pathway forward. So if you are struggling, particularly with your health, reach out. All right, let's uh, pull from the Revealing Light Oracle. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, um, show me for Scorpio in September. That wants to come out, Perspective. Put your fo focus on your inner reality rather than living in everybody else's. It really is time to think of yourself. That's what that Queen of Cups does. Perspective. Have a look what, at your inner reality. How healthy is that? Is it time to change up any of those habits? Okay, show me. Are you, you know, for others, other Scorpios, are you kind of focused on everybody else's dramas and we get strength self-knowledge self-acceptance and awareness of your real value your real value are worth contemplating this is not the the outer value this is the inner value everything arises from within everything can be solved by going within show me what is needed for scorpio september all right, make it happen. What do you love to do? Do what you love and love what you do. That's, you know, again, Scorpio, Scor the Scorpios that I've been reading for in this reading, whether it's community work or family work or real, you know, I'm going to say real work, you know, naughty me. Um, I'm busy with all, all of the above uh, and all of them are important. And maybe that's a message. Stop, um, stop focusing only on your work but I do feel there are changes in your work coming up but there's also a message about do not live for work in this in this card it's about self-expression and creativity it's about artistic cre you know being creative which is a different energy to 20 hours at the office isn't it 
Okay, life force. Understanding the past and applying that knowledge to the present can help ward off future future issues. So really taking a look at the past and understanding, looking at that through a critical lens and also a compassionate lens, I want to say, as well. Okay, Scorpio, that's how I see it for September. Take, you know, general reading, take this or leave it. Um, come back to it a little later on in the month. Let's move on to Pisces and let's get a timestamp. That was rather a long reading, <laughs> Scorpio. 2032 Pisces. What's happening for Pisces? Let's give these cards a really good shuffle. There's a full moon. Pisces coming up. Um, let's see. Actually, no, oh no, I was just going to look at my ephemeris, but I won't. Um, full moons are all about endings. Endings. And given that that full moon is in your sign, <laughs> I'll have to look up when it is. Sorry, Pisces, but uh, as it's in your sign, we should we should know about it. Okay, full moon in Pisces. Moon in Pisces, twenty twenty three, and of course it, it, the sun will be in Virgo. Um, you know, which is your opposite sign. August the 30th, 9.35pm uh, Eastern Standard Time, August the 30th. Okay, so hopefully you will see this before then. But um, the full, you know, full moons, new moons, their influences, it don't, 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 just doesn't affect us on the day. It can be in the lead up and in the in the... And in the uh, new moon as well. So full moon, what uh, has Pisces been bringing to a close? What endings have Pisces been moving toward? So show me what's happening for Pisces, please. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing this, that six of swords, a boat moving through... Actually, it's light, moving through light. That's beautiful. That suggests to me some Pisces have been through really deep healing, potentially after illness or sickness. And I see like a ritual uh, happening here, like a, you know, you could have had some healing, um, healing energies coming through. Which may, which you know, you might have been puzzled about, but they they came from, they came from. Um, an, I'm just going to say a non orthodox, non orthodox place. So maybe you saw uh, different pra energy practitioners or something like that. But there's deep, deep healing here, and it's this boat is. Oh, it's just beautiful golden light. Thank you, spirit. Mm. So Pisces, you've either healed physically or healing mentally or both. But you're coming out of uh, maybe a dark space and beautiful light surrounding your uh, your passage on this boat. Thank you, Spirit. I always love to see this is a beautiful, soft, golden light. There's nothing harsh about it at all. It's just what you, you like because, you know, Pisceans are so intuitive that they swim in the ocean of other people's feelings. And this is smooth sailing for you. Okay, Pisces, show me what's coming up for Pisces. So we have here the full new starts. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely energy. This is uh, ordained. If you haven't experienced this newness, you will. For some, uh, the full card, new starts. It's the potential of everything. And we get the four of wands. I knew this was good energy. This is home and happiness and reunions and families coming together. Both endings and new beginnings. Venus in Aries uh, energy. Remembering the North Nodes are, are in Aries and Libra. 
I just feel a whole lot more solid when I sit in your energy Pisces. The Seven of Wands is at the um, foundation of the reading, not backing down. Why? You've earned this new beginning. You stood your ground. You defended yourself and you are not backing down. This energy is good. Some of you might, I'm just hearing trouble and strife within friendship or family circle. But you handled it really well. You handled it with grace. You handled it with maturity. You got through it. There was a healing that took place. Now the Empress card is uh, Venus energy, uh, a season of time. It's in the past and abundance coming your way. It's Taurus energy. The mother can also be the mother energy. What's crowning this reading is the lovers. There's a lot of love in this reading, Pisces. Gemini. Gemini energy, the lovers. There is equilibrium being established or re-established in your life. Perhaps after a period of fluctuation, of instability, of feeling like you're all at sea. Um, we get the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter Energy. I love this. You've got uh, good fortune in the immediate future. You navigated the trouble, got through it, perhaps with the assistance of women or I'm just getting with that empress, mother, grandmother, something like that. Yeah, this healing took place and now you're moving into this really fortunate period. I love this. The two of swords, you are at a crossroads and this new start that's coming in will require a decision, either has or will could be a decision to do with a relationship as well. Yeah, the world card um, in the environment around major major endings and new beginnings for you. This is Saturn, the work. Moon in Libra and Saturn. Whatever you choose, whatever decision you make here, will take you on a new path, alter your timeline, take you in a different way. What's in the hopes and fears in inevitability? What are you worried about? An inevitability. What's this inevitability that you're worried about? Judgment. I feel for you that change is inevitable, Pisces. The outcome is the Ten of Swords. Very much you're ending an old cycle and beginning a new, bringing something to a close. Sun in Gemini. The, the tough choices between two people as well, having to choose between two people. And we get the Ace of Coins. Um, some of you are going to accept an offer here. And the Eight of Wands, it's going to come in. That's communication. Mercury in Sagittarius energy. You, some of my Pisceans, there's a new start for all of you. <laughs> After a period of healing, there's change. You're confronted with a decision that you have to make. It's a hard decision, but it's going to open up a new pathway for you. Potentially a prosperous pathway as well. We get the King of Wands, be brave, stepping forward bravely. That's the underlying energy. The Two of Coins again, underscoring just how tough this decision is, trying to end the death card end something we also get the knight of wands you've got the passion the passion to make the decision to move forward and it's a quick energy and we get your own energy pisces the moon i started with the moon in pisces it's about endings isn't it bringing something to a close wow all right let's um Let's draw some Lenor, Lenor, Lenorman. It's not Lenorman, it's Kipper uh, for you. I'll just get the two cards, two signifier cards out, both male and female, because yes, I do have some men that watch these. Uh, and let's give them a shuffle. This is the Kipper's good for everyday kind of energy. It tells us a look, we're, it tells us a lot. We're able to look back. 
and we're able to look in the present and we're able to look in the future. Let's give them a good shuffle. Pisces, please, September. Pisces, September. Show me Pisces in September 2023. All right, so we get occupation in the past. You could be thinking about work. Could be thinking about returning to work. The courthouse. Maybe some of you have been updating qualifications. And we get the house. Okay, so it could be a matter to do to do with your home. It could be a legal matter to do with your home. Are you contemplating buying a home with somebody else? There's a big decision and it's not an easy one. There's concern here in the present message of concern okay so some of you there could be a lead something legal coming through the mail in the past and you could be concerned also can i afford to do this can i are there money issues here and we've got more contemplation very much fitting with the decision crossroads a decision you've got to make I feel like for some of you in prison, it's just a metaphor. I feel like for some of you, you've felt stifled by something or someone or a situation. You just haven't felt free. And this, is, this new start is about feeling free. And a message comes in to change everything. To change everything. It's one more. Beware though, false a false person. Uh, and we also get gifts. Some of you are worried about the pressure someone's putting on you. It's just not making it's not making you happy. You are you should make your own decision. Official person, unexpected income, mature woman. So so this message could be a um, an income, a little bit of an income or boost your income. That you weren't counting on. Uh, that could be a message that could be coming through. Or you might very much hear about, for example, a new house that comes up. Because you need this freedom. And you're going to get it. It's kind of like you get a breakthrough. Okay. Pisces. Let's pull some uh, from the uh, cards from the Revealing Light Oracle. Revealing Light Oracle. What have you got to tell Pisces for September, please? Pisces in September. Gateway, spirits calling cards are never far away. Look for the magic, particularly in adversity. So there will be, this is Jupiter energy, luck coming your way. Number 11, guardian angels. Look around you. If you're going through a tough time, you've got spirit. It has got your back. Cooperation, what is impossible will become possible. Conflict and resolution are the building blocks of learning. And this is essence. This is your own energy. Pisces in uh, Neptune in Pisces. Creation of something new. A new start. Remembering who you are. You're getting out of prison, Pisces. Illumination. Heaven is within and without. Around us. Notice the signs. I'm getting a really strong... Crown Chakra energy in these cards for you. The violet is associated with the Crown Chakra. New beginnings. Wow, what you thought was not possible becomes possible for you, Pisces, in September. All right, let's move to Cancer. 3428. Cancerian energy. Okay, might change it up a little bit. And uh, let's give this, this a shuffle. Let me 
wasn't a very good shuffle. Cancerians, my friend, my Cancerian friends. What's coming up for you in September 2023? Cancerians. Cancerians. September. Okay. All right, let's pull from the Revealing Light Oracle to begin with. For Cancerians, what's happening for my Cancerian friends? Knots twisted, somebody twisting in a knot or being twisted up like a knot. So that's a message for some. Over a tug of war situation. Okay. A specific message for somebody. Something is being adjudicated on. Something will be adjudicated on. Wow, this is major for some. I'm seeing the world. Major endings and new beginnings. There's a lot of energ energetic kind of... Some of you could even be contemplating a move. Because I'm seeing like ley lines and the world and the ley lines around them. You could be working out where you should move to that's good for your energy. <coughs> Cancer, my Cancerian friends, what's coming up for Cancer in September 2023? Cancerian, September 2023. I'm getting um, a tickle in my throat. This is around the throat chakra, expressing yourself, holding things in. Some of you could even be holding in anger. <laughs> Sorry. But you, you might be uh, and worried uh, about if you say this thing, if you just say it, you're going to really alienate somebody close. Here's your energy, Cancerian energies, unconditional love, the simplicity of loving connection. So I'm reminded to bring everything back to love for you. This is heart chakra energy. It's happening for Cancerians. Sorry about the chainsaw. I can't do anything about it. Resilience. Um, you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this. And hold your ground. Yeah, this tug of war situation. Sometimes you've just got to own it and go for it. I'm seeing uh, spirit here. So that really is a message for somebody. Intuition. Let go and trust yourself. Let go of that twisted rope. Let go of the tug of war and trust yourself. Okay, you're your own, your own master, mistress, creator. All right, what's coming up for Cancerians in September 2023? What's happening for my Cancerian friends in September? So we have here uh, the three of coins, Mars and Capricorn. Are you trying to get um, a project off the ground where you're working with others? This is about working, building something, working with others. Could be uh, to do with money as well. Um, could be working with financial advisors. Some of you could be selling your home, for example, or thinking about selling your home. The King of Wands stepping forward bravely. I don't think this is going to... Whatever you're confronting, this, these are good cards, good energy. I think you're going to be okay. The Four of Wands, yeah, it's the home card. Home and hearth, reunions as well. Venus in Aries, love. Love and support and working with others and finding your passion again. Seven of Wands, yeah, defending yourself. Here's the rope that I saw uh, Mars in Leo energy, defending yourself against somebody or something, standing your ground. Sevens, yeah, there's a lot of sevens here. Seven of coins. Uh, whatever you want to do, uh, you may not be able to go for the first plan, but the second plan you can. Saturn in Taurus, this is about earth energy, this is about finances. 
This is about doing the work, doing the budget, doing the planning. In the immediate future, we get Scorpio energy, the death card. So there is um, endings of some sort here for you, but I just don't get the impression you're worried too worried about it. The Nine of Cups is uh, wish fulfillment, Jupiter in Pisces energy. That's maybe why, if you've got Pisces in your chart, Jupiter in Pisces energy, maybe there's some luck coming, or maybe you can see, because this is in the present position, some signs of luck. Nine of Coins, oh my God, yes. Um, Venus in Virgo, having everything you need. You have everything you need. You know you have everything you need. You know you're going to be okay. Some of you are definitely contemplating a new start. You're hopeful about it, but you're also a little bit nervous about it as well. The Knight of Swords, the truth actually comes into this situation very quickly to uh, establish a centre ground, to, you know, where I saw the tug of war, you let go of the rope, and uh, straight away you have... Um, you have that temperance energy around you and that um, middle of the road, no, nothing extreme. The truth is coming forward to set you free. And yes, as I thought, the world card, literally, some of you could, other Cancerians could actually be travelling, travelling across overseas. You could be thinking about travelling. You could be embarking on an odyssey of sorts. The truth is something's got to come to an end, but I, I just don't get you're all that worried about it. Uh, moon in Aquarius, uh, there's a seven of swords. Uh, you know, there could be something that comes to the surface, but there's temperance card there. Uh, you're going to be okay. What's at the base of the pack? So we get the ten of wands, yeah, carrying too much, heavy burdens. Libra, justice, um, Particularly uh, needing others to do more. Uh, and the three of wands. Uh, this is actually luck. Sun in Aries. You've got the wind at your back. You're going to be okay. Princess of coins. Um, yeah, some days you're worried about this. And on others, no. You're not concerned at all. I think you see this, this change that's coming up. This decision as an opportunity all right let's um what have i done here okay let's look at the kipper see if we can get some shed some light on this situation okay what's coming up for cancerians in September 2023, Cancerians, September 2023. So we have uh, the child, innocence, family room, something about thinking about your past marriage. <laughs> okay, so you have the child, the family room, the marriage. This is an interesting spread. Uh, you're thinking about the way you grew up. You're thinking about your marriage. This is nostalgia. This is thinking back literally to the past. In the present, we have concern. Again, this change coming up and occupation. Something around your occupation. Trying to get something off the ground. Will I be able to earn enough, for example? Will I have enough to retire? Community is in the present Sorry, in the future, establishing a community, a community coming forward to help you. Great fortune. I love this in the um, future. And the lover's card. Basically, friends, family, community, you're going to have enough and you've got support in your loving relationships. Yeah. Even if the poverty card is here, you don't really care because you see the importance, the real importance and the real value of things. Distant horizons, toils and labours. Yeah, okay. So, again, some of you could literally, literally be um, embarking on an overseas trip. 
Um, bad health. Some of you could be, this could be financial or it could be otherwise journey. Journey and high honour. So yes, this is, uh, some Cancerians are contemplating, contemplating change, but I feel there's a financial issue here, but it seems to resolve itself. I don't think you're too worried. There is a period of nostalgia too for some Cancerians, thinking about the past, reconciling with the past. But, you know, I just get onwards and upwards for you in whatever this situation pertains to, change of residence, change of job, whatever it is, you'll be okay. And I think you know that. All right, Cancer, that's your reading. Uh, and this is Tarot Scopes for September for Water Signs. I'll be back again. Bye for now.